Yo! Welcome back to another Den Den Boys video. It is Garth. Vaughn. Together we are the Den Den Boys and we are in Vaughn's games room. Who's, uh, you're in the middle, middle of packing, so it's a bit of a different setup. We're in the bunker. We're, in the, we're deep in the games bunker, <laughs> but loving it. Um, on this episode, or this video, you will be seeing the new... Pocky Pocky. and Rocky Reshrined. Yep, for Nintendo Switch. A game that we have played a lot of, Pocky and Rocky 2 on the SNES, and now they've done what we're calling, I guess, a reimagining? Yeah. Not necessarily a remaster or a remake, a reimagining. Reimagining. Of the, of the classic. Yeah, the Super so, Nintendo. Yeah, what you'll see in this video, a bit of history about the game and the developers. We're going to talk about what they've changed and added to, this, to the new game, what they kept the same, and then uh, obviously whether it's a thumbs up, race out and grab it, or no good, give it a pass. So, um, yeah, a bit of history about the game. A bit dude. of history about the game. So, it, it began as an arcade title in Japan in 1986 mm. from Taito. It was called Kiki Kai Kai, Kiki Kai, uh, which Kai. is the, the original game. Um, I so, love that name, by the way. Yeah, Kiki Kai Kai <laughs> rolls <laughs> off the tongue. I do love that. Uh, I almost prefer, I think I do prefer it to Pocky and yeah, Rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a cool name. Weird yeah, title, yeah. But anyway, Pocky and Rocky, Kiki Kai Kai. Uh, Taito arcade game. Then on the Super Nintendo in 92, 93, Natsume... Uh, I suppose reimagine the arcade original mm, yeah. as a sort of sequel, but uh, yeah. with two player and mm. new elements. Um, and then, yeah, so you had two games on the Super Nintendo, Pocky and Rocky, Pocky and Rocky 2. Uh, and, and now we fast forward to 2022, mm. and uh, three guys from Natsume who worked on the original series who go by the name of Tengo Project. Mm, Tengo Project. Um, they reformed to, to, to re-release or remake, reimagine uh, some of their classic Super Nintendo games, and this is the third entry. Yeah, they've they've been around. They've done this already. So we've got you know Ninja Saviors, which was released on the PS4 and Switch as well, which was a remake, reimagining of Ninja Warriors, yep. and then uh, Wild Guns, which they did a remake or re again a reimagining mm -hmm. of the series. So this is the third in their big three games. Yeah. And to be honest, it seems to be the one they put the most effort into. Maybe not the most effort, but they definitely put the more the most content yeah, into. Yeah, most most bonus or most sort of extra content extra. In, in in the game. Yeah, it's not just a straight sort of remake like some of the others were. You know, more ninety percent. So this is sort of feels like 50, yeah. old fifty new. So, like we said, we'll talk about what's new in the game. So one of the new features um, is obviously the new stages. Um, they've actually added brand new content in stages you've never seen before and they, they work great yeah. um, and, and they've also reimagined like we're saying yeah. reimagined some of the existing stages as well so yeah. in terms of you'll play a stage that you know back to front and they'll add just a, a, a new element or a new part of the stage that wasn't there before. Mm. And then the big one is the new the new characters. Yeah, too. new so characters, you, new addition. You, you only ever had Pocky and Rocky in mm. the past. Now you, I think you've got nearly six. I think there's of a cast of five all up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, which they get introduced through the story through, mode. Through the story mode, which is single player only, and which is the only mode available when you first sort of boot the game up. Uh, and they. they Gradually, they sort of change. You see players, you know, Pocky in the first level, Rocky in the second level, and then you start to play as other people uh, to as a way of introducing yeah. those story elements. Did you have so the, out of the three new characters, there was a there was a Pocky kind of a, a version a, of Pocky cat, who's like a, a cat, cat character Pocky. who had like this crazy laser beam. There was Piratu, mm. which is the the guy in the story mode. Who had like a staff? Yeah, he doesn't even shoot. Doesn't projectiles. even shoot projectiles. Had a staff, but had a really good build-up power mm. move. Yeah, the sub weapons and the special. The sub weapon, yeah, build-up yeah. power. And then there was the uh, the other the goddess, the chick. goddess chick, yeah. and she oh, she had a projectile and had, mm. a, had a like a protection spell as yeah. a build-up. Yeah. What, what do you think of the new characters? Yeah, I thought they were really interesting, really varied. They mix it um, up. Yeah, and they, they you want to play as them. There yeah. are some of them, you know, uh, you know, really good. The little cat sort of version oh. has a lock on laser yeah, move super. which is like yeah. straight out of a schmuck yeah. uh, and really cool so no i thought they were you know that they, they were accessible and they were different and varied and brought sort of a fresh experience yeah, to I the think, gameplay i think the character with the staff was probably the hardest to use because obviously mm. it's a projectile game yeah you had to get so close to the enemies to hit them mm. um they made up for that by having the build up the power side. move yeah. but uh, sometimes you'd be building up that power move, you take a hit you lose your power move so mm. it, he was the di more difficult Bit to play more technical with to players, but maybe more slightly more powerful yeah like, maybe and the pocky the, the pocky character that was the cat pocky mm. That seemed to be the most powerful, and then she, you had new other new characters sort of in the middle somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of the new stages, did you like the new stages? Yeah, yeah. Some beautiful new levels. You know, sort of in that sort of 
uh, yokai, so yeah. mythical Japanese setting. Yeah. I thought they were all really well done. Yeah, and really can, cool. So it didn't feel out of place at all, and 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 sort of made it feel like a new game as well as the yeah, original. Yeah, yeah, just a, just Sun enough Sun added stuff to make you realise you were playing something new. Mm. Um, the soundtrack was great, um, yep, the and obviously soundtrack. we talked about it. The other new feature is the actual addition of a story mode. So mm. there was there was a story in Pocky and Rocky 2, mm. but it wasn't the main no. course. This, it was, this was playing it for the gameplay. Yeah. And this one, they even made you, like you said, you, you cannot unlock the two-player version mm. until you've played through and clocked yeah. the one-player mode, which yeah. introduces you to each character and, okay, and then yeah. special moves. It just slows it down. You know, the risk with a game like this is you can beat it in an hour, you know, if, if you sort of mm. jump straight in. I think story mode sort of forces you to sort of save it. makes you see all the content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you get the two-player mode yeah. and sort of like yeah, blitz through. through without those story elements. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we should also add there's a coin system. So the enemies oh, now yeah, that's drop, drop currency, yeah. Uh, yeah. almost like uh, Fantasy Zone where they explode, yeah, yeah, they explode, in, into, explode coins. into coins. Yeah. Uh, and the coins can be spent in-game. Mm. There's a little sort of shop person uh, who you find in a secret. Yeah, it's almost like almost like imagine like Metal Slug where you're rescuing like mm. a character and they give you a they give yeah. you some and items. You pay a little bit of your coinage mm. and, and it, it, a roulette world sort of changes and you might get max power or a health power up or the dog or power life up. or um, yeah whatever yeah, it is yeah and that, that's new that uh, is new and, and you can spend that money on that and also if you can't unlock the to unlock the two player mode you. If oh, you, you can't can beat the it. game, mm. you can, if you get 10,000 coins accumulatively, which they I are... I don't know who the hell is yeah. getting 10,000 coins. Yeah. I mean, you imagine saving up 10,000 uh, coins, like, I mean, just, just beat the game. Yeah, like, it's not yeah, that bad. Yeah. You can even have very easy mode, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think at 3,000 coins, you unlock the very yeah. easy mode. And then, yeah, there's no excuse. Yeah. Um, but, but you do spend a lot of your coins in-game on those power-ups. Yeah. New bosses as well, and even, uh, not only new bosses, but some of the existing bosses have now a second phase. Like, yeah. it really shocked me. I played, like, you, you played yeah. the first stage, yeah. and so you knew it was coming, but the first boss, I, we beat, it, beat him, and I was like, okay, and I ran up to get the coins, mm. and he launched into a second yeah. phase, and, hit me, and I was like, whoa, what's going on, second yeah. phase? You're like, oh yeah, dude, it has a second phase. Yeah, which is so cool. Which they, is really cool, sort of thought, oh, but it was what? a shock. Yeah, yeah. Really, really Imagine cool. how players would react if their boss they know inside mm. out sort of has yeah, a, a, changes a second like, phase. It's not like, supposed to go like that. Damn, yeah. So that was all, that's all I can think of for the new content, mm. and, and really good new content too, not just content for content's mm. sake. They, they've mm. obviously thought about the choices yeah, and, and what they've added. and It's integrated perfectly, and it doesn't feel like place. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. Um, in terms of things that maybe uh, pretty much everything else is kept the same, the gameplay, the, the stages, what about things that maybe brought it down a little bit? Like I would probably say, we, we talked about as we were playing, if you do die on a stage, in between stages there's no ability to pick a new character or switch yeah. between characters. Once you're locked into the guy you pick at the start, you kind of have to play them to for play the entire them. game. And yeah. We were saying it would have been nice if... You know, I, I want to mix it up a bit, and I want to play as the staff guy because his mm. move would be good on this boss. Or I want to play as Pocky for a bit. I want to switch just... it up, and maybe that could come as a patch down the track. Mm, I don't maybe. know. I mean, you probably won't, but 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 yeah, that was it could a, have been a, a feature, a small thing. And, and of course, too, if one person dies in two-player mode, the other person you can't join back in. No, until you the can't other join back dies. in until they're both dead. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's my, a minor thing, but on on the plus side, the restart points and restart the, points and are fair. Continues yeah. are, are quite fair, so they keep you in the game. Yeah. Um. Anything else that was made? Oh, uh, only that we we kind of wanted more bonus content, more yeah, unlockables. Yeah, I mean, you more. Maybe like a you know the original version would have been nice to have. That would have been so cool. Yeah. Um, but you would probably been greedy. Yeah. I mean, they, they put a lot of love and effort into this, but yeah, it's so much so that you kind of almost want more. Yeah. It's so cool. Like, totally. yeah. I, you're nitpicking yeah. if you're thinking of things that weren't mm. that great. It, it was a it's a very very good package, and the, yeah. the stuff that they put in far outweighs the couple of nitpicky things yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's there's not much to pick on here no so we're probably giving away what we think but is this a thumbs up race out and grab it yeah, yeah, is it yeah. look uh, absolutely two thumbs up yeah can't can't stress mm. this enough mm. they've, they've hit it out of the park uh with their third entry in the mm. series the other two games are great too they but are the, great. The, this one i think they've put the most love the most effort it, it, i'm assuming it's their favorite sort of pet project from it back feels in the like day. That. it was their first feels sort like of that. First game before Wild Guns, before Ninja Saviors. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm saying if you have the opportunity, it's not out in Australia yet, but it should hit the eShops in late June and Play Asia strictly yeah, limited. Strictly there, limited. Google it. There are physical copies yeah. still available um, online, oh. and it's it's region free, of course. Yeah. It's, yeah. And there's it's English language. Yeah, yeah as you, a default. Which is yeah, nice yeah. So so you can't go wrong. Yeah, I, I'm with you 100. percent Like I, I love Pocky and Rocky 2 on the SNES. 
and I was had such high hopes for this game, and they they knocked it out of the park. Yeah. They delivered. I mean, the bonus, the actual bonus content of the story mode, I loved it. Yeah. I, I loved being able to. It was kind of great being held back because mm. if I had to just jump straight into the two player mode with these characters I didn't understand, yeah. it might have changed my opinion. But I was made to like play through the story mode and learn the new characters and just mm. take my time with it. And then we played a lot of two player as well. Yeah. The two player is as good as it gets. Mm. And, and the difficulty feels just right too. The difficulty feels right. We haven't yeah. tried it. We, we haven't really tested ourselves on hard mode mm. yet. We'll have to train mm. ourselves up and, and do that. But oh, look, it's, it's double thumbs up. Yeah. It, it can't. You can't go wrong. If you haven't played the game before. This is a great chance to go and play it because the actual SNES lot, card is quite yeah, expensive. This is a lot cheaper than getting a SNES copy, yeah. And it's almost exactly the mm. same bar a few new stages. Yeah. So race out, grab it, you will not be disappointed. It is absolutely phenomenal and they've banged it out of the park. So yeah, we're, we're both big thumbs up for Pocky and Rocky Reshrined. All right, there you go. Uh, that was uh, the lap. Pocky and Rocky Reshrine for the Switch. Uh, again, in terms of YouTube, thanks so much for watching. If you're loving what we're doing, we appreciate you watching. But if you're liking what we're doing, please like, please share, please comment, do all those great YouTube things. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you very soon for another Den Den Boys video. Peace. <laughs>